Time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Wall Street Journal looks at the Obamacare website. The federal government admits it needs to fix design defects and software problems. The site allows people to apply for coverage. It launched Tuesday, but demand caused the system to crash for many users. Federal officials said yesterday that more server capacity is needed. The Washington Post says drug companies paid to attend meetings of scientific panels. Those meetings shaped the federal government's policy for testing the safety of painkillers. Emailers, emails show the drug companies spent as much as $25,000 each to take part in the talks. UT San Diego says two California scientists are among this morning's winners of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. The Nobel, the Nobel Committee announced that James Rothman Randy Schechtman and German-born researcher Thomas Sudhoff won the prize for their groundbreaking work in cell transport. The San Francisco Chronicle says some of the country's biggest youth sports organizations are teaming up to tackle concussions. The coalition includes football, baseball, basketball, and soccer groups, along with concussion experts. The Hartford Current says residents of Newtown, Connecticut, voted Saturday to accept $50 million from the state for a new school. Crews could begin tearing down Sandy Hook Elementary as soon as next month. The town plans a larger school on the same site. A gunman killed 20 children and six adults there in December. And the New York Times looks at the newly redesigned $100 bill. It has features meant to make it harder to counterfeit. They include a three-dimensional strip with images that appear to move and a holographic bell. The new bills go into circulation tomorrow.